So we found there was a real problem with the way that noise problems in the community were being solved. And processes were long, they were drawn out, and ultimately people weren't getting the closure, the action, and the results that they expected from the people who regulate and govern noise. So NoiseNet is able to provide third-party data unbiased and allows us to really get to the core of what's happening with noise problems, particularly in our community, and allows councils, regulators to take valuable action and mediation steps to solve and ultimately resolve and bring some peace to people who might be suffering from really quite extensive noise problems. We found that processes that council offices were typically using to resolve noise complaints was really manual, labor intensive, and would take a lot of time and not really get any solid data insights out of it. So the ability to look at audio and noise in a more automated and technologically advanced fashion, really, we're trying to bring these analysis techniques into the 21st century and take it from, you know, we had stories of councils using stopwatches to try and measure the, the length of dog barking. So the ability to approach this from an engineering mindset and use sophisticated data analysis and digital signal processing techniques to actually take what's written down on paper for legislation and bring that, in, that link between the physical noise that might be happening and something that we can communicate to clients and has a real meaning to the people who are analyzing and ultimately making decisions about what constitutes a noise nuisance or not. For example, in the United States, their noise codes for determining whether dog barking is a nuisance refers to consecutive amounts of dog barking. When it comes down to it, what does that actually mean? So a lot of my work goes into developing algorithms and signal processing techniques to be able to determine what exactly constitutes consecutive amounts of noise. Over the years, we've developed an expansive noise classification data set, over a million data points of different environmental noise types, dog barking, roosters, trains, aeroplanes, Anything you can imagine out there in the environment, we probably have a noise snippet on, and we can develop novel machine learning models to help classify those sounds and provide detailed analytics into the noises in the environment. So whether you have one noise net device or 20 noise net devices, it integrates really, really easily with your current noise management practices. You take the device from site to site, the hardest thing you need to do is plug that in, and noise net will start to deliver and distill the information to tell you about what active noise is happening at that site. And that data is delivered to you in a very easy and intuitive way to tell how loud are the noises and what sort of noise nuisance is happening at that site. When dealing with audio recordings, we know privacy and security as at the front of people's minds. NoiseNet systems have been built from the ground up to ensure security and compliance is met at every stage of the process. And we can lay that out and communicate data directly to the client that we can say, there's been five minutes of consecutive dog barking. And they can measure that against their code, and then they have real world data that's very powerful in communicating to their constituents, is this actually a problem, or is it okay under the things that are written in their codes?